What is going on YouTube? Gamus here and welcome to this new video. So today I want to show you my personal favorite top five Linux apps to start 2017. So with no further ado, let's check it out. Number five, Terminix. Any skilled Linux user knows the importance of the good old command line. But what's a command line without a good terminal emulator to go with it? Terminix is a great terminal emulator written in GTK that offers a whole lot of nice features including split panels, multiple tabs and nice customization options. If you want your terminal to be prettier and more functional than whatever you were using, then Terminix is for you. Number 4. WMail there are a lot of email clients out there, but they all look old and kind of boring. If you're like me and you like what Google is doing with Inbox, then you have to try WMail. It's a really simple app. It's a wrapper for the web version of Inbox. It does add some nice features though. It stays in the background and notifies you when you get new emails using your native desktop notifications, which is pretty nice. It adds an read count to your taskbar supports multiple accounts at once and it works fine offline. If you use Gmail or Inbox and want something more than a typical web client, then WMail is the email client you were looking for. Number 3. Sync thing. With all the cloud-based file syncing solutions out there, you're probably thinking, why choosing this one? Well, the difference is that with SyncThing, there is no cloud involved. You can sync different folders with all of your devices. SyncThing is compatible with any OS, including Android. You can just download a client on two of your PCs, pair them, select some folders to sync, and you're good to go. I mainly use this to sync my music and university notes, and it proved to be a really nice utility that I hope you will like as well as I do. Number 2. GIMP 2.9 GIMP is one of those programs that have been out there since forever. Version 2.8 in particular has been out for quite a while without many important updates. But GIMP's future is brighter. In fact, GIMP 2.9 looks like it will be a huge improvement over the previous version. With a better and faster backend, a refinement of the core tools and a slicker interface to go with it, this new version of GIMP is a must-have for any creative professional or amateur. The easiest way to install GIMP 2.9 on your Linux machine right now is using Flatpak. Just read the video description for a short tutorial. Number 1. Discord. TeamSpeak used to be the go-to solution for gamers to talk in-game. Mumble tried catching up and, and to some degree it succeeded and found its place. But now the gaming community seems to have moved to this new solution called Discord. Discord offers free text and voice chats with the possibility to create as many servers as you want for free. They recently released their official Linux app and it works pretty damn nice. If you like it, download it and join the TechPill server right away. You will find all the links in the video description. So guys, this is gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to press the thumbs up button down there and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Again guys, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.